Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Sunday evening and here in the UK we have Storm Ashley, which really for me is means it's just a bit of rain and wind. Um, we are very lucky where I am that the storms, because I'm in the middle of the country, a lot of the time they're not nearly as bad when they get to me as they are for anyone out in the coast, etc. So if anyone of you is affected by that. Good luck. I hope everything goes well. <clears throat> um, we have already been out to the garden, moved all the things that are movable um, because they were rattling quite a bit. Um, Callie, the puppy, very large, seven-month-old German Shepherd puppy, has now got brave enough to bark at noises that she doesn't know outside the door, so that's a good thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I had thought of doing a live tonight, but just in case, I thought I'll I'll just come on and, and speak rather than be sitting, you know, with my eyes on a swivel during a live. Um, and I thought we'd just say, how do you hunker down? Now, obviously, as I know, this is nothing compared to people around the world who have hurricanes and tornadoes and lose their houses, etc. That, you know, what I've got here is in no way any comparison to that. But for a lot of people, this is something that they're like, okay, what do you do? And we hunker down. Um, basically means that I've put the wood burner on so that the house is warm um, and that will hold heat for quite some time. So the wood burner's on tonight. That means the house will stay warm. Um, I have my torch sitting beside my chair just in case we lose power. Um, there's not many power cuts at the moment. I think there was only three on the power cut map when I went and checked. <coughs> Excuse me, but if you're one of those, then, do you know, it's a big enough deal. So I've got my torch, as I say, the wood burner's on. Um, and it's just a case of we're just going to sit quietly. We've got no intentions of going anywhere. Um, when it comes to getting to work tomorrow... There will probably be quite a few branches on the road, so it's just a case of being careful going round the corners because you never know what you might find. Um, that's certainly one thing. Obviously, I work in construction. We do a lot of insurance work, thinking there could be a lot of people with problems with their roofs. Um, we got ours checked a couple of years ago, and <clears throat> excuse me, because we obviously work with roofers, I am going to be asking them to check the roof again just when they're driving past because they drive past my house quite a lot with where it is. Like, just have a look and check when you're when you're riding around, please, just to make sure. Um, because I would certainly rather do something about it when it's a small problem than leave it to become a bigger problem and then if the wind hits it, it becomes a massive problem. So, yeah, we will get the roof checked just shortly. Um, as I say, funnily enough, I checked the batteries yesterday because Kathleen needed some batteries. So I came and checked what we have. We have plenty. The power pack is charged up. Um, I also have like a gas stove that takes the little cans of gas. I know where it is. I know where the gas is. Um, obviously, if there is a power cut, we're not going to open the freezers because that would just be silly. We've got plenty of stuff pressure canned there. Um, so yeah, it's just a case of hunkering down. We're quite lucky as well that we have a hot water tank. Because we don't have gas, we have an electric hot water tank. So we can still have a bath if we can't have a shower, if there's a power cut. Um, so it's all good that way. As I say, we've got the wood burner, we can heat up water on that if we have to um i am about to fill the flask with boiling water and um, let me just see if i can reach my flask hold on a second <coughs> this is my flask it has been rolling about in the car for quite some time um now i've got two flasks i got one that i got from tesco which is, keeps things hot for 8 to 12 hours, which is about as much use as a chocolate fire guard to me. Um, I got this thermos that cost me about £20, best thing ever. It keeps stuff hot like 24 hours. So that is a really, really good 
Um, see, you can see my mucky flask that needs cleaned after being in the van. Um, so that is a really, really good thing for me. Um, keeps hot, keeps cold 24 hours, and it actually does. Um, so yeah, that's going to get filled up just shortly, just in case, because I like to be prepared. Um, so yeah, that's, that's our hunkering down. Um, if we do lose power, I have my books, I have a jigsaw, I have my crochet, etc, etc. So we'll see how we get on. As I say, I hope you're all good. Um, I hope nobody has too big a incident happen with the storms. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I'm planning to do is go make myself a cup of tea, fill the flask and hunker down for the night. Catch you later.